Welcome back to The Daily Grind. So just a couple days ago, I planted a couple onions right here. And I realized that these are gonna be picked all pretty soon within the next month. These are all radish and they're very fast growing. They don't stay for very long in the garden. So I figure uh, onions are pretty slow growing and they won't get in the way really. They don't form bulbs for a while and they go all winter. Uh, we are in, in fall or close to winter. We're actually in November right now. It's a warm day, it's 70 degrees, but I'm in Texas, it's what it is, but it will get cold this winter and the onions will do fine. So it's a perfect thing to plant, I think, in between. Plus, all the alliums, all the onion types do really well for pests. So I've got actually some bunching onions here. And uh, so anyway, I'm planting the, the super sweet onion, um, the Texas super sweet, the red creole. I'm doing an American flag leek. And then I'm also doing some more of the bunching. And this is the kind that did really well. This is the warrior. And these ones didn't, so I'm not gonna plant those. You ready to help me, Abby? Wait, I need a walking stick. You need a walking stick to help me? <laughs> you would not part an old man from his walking stick. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and put in our, our little markers here. I don't know why I call markers. Cause they mark the area. Hmm. All right, so. Let's see. The largest is going to be the, the bigger onion. So we'll put the, the Texas Super Sweet. Do you want to put that right in between those two? You want to put the marker down in between? Right there. Yep. A little over. Right there. Anything in this general area, right in here. Anything below the stereo, right in here in this area that includes the chiclets, but not the erasers. Perfect. Now we know that that's gonna go there. Good job. And then in between this one, let's do the leak. You wanna do, put the leaks down? Perfect. Good job. Next, we'll do the onion, another onion, right in between that row, right in the center. Mm-hmm. No, a little, a little more over. There you go, perfect. Last, we'll put the bunching onions. Um, no, let's do it right there, yeah. Right in between those two. Perfect. Good job. And we'll leave that open because they're pretty close together already. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna have to put little holes. So before I had planted these onions where I made a trench and I just sprinkled seeds. I think I'm gonna get a little more precise. And so these onions need about four to six inches. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll get the first one. So if we give three inch for the first one, they don't need to be super deep, I don't think. All right, so then six inch. I wanna try. All right, you're gonna do it. So. Go ahead and make it a little further out and over here, like right there. Good job. All right, come over here. Good. So we're just using the end of a pencil right here. Good. And one right there, perfect. Good job. These are a little less. They're every four inch. Two inch from the back here so that they have room to grow. And then we'll do four inch. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll do this side and I'll hand it to you, you do that side. How about that? Okay, so what we're gonna do is just drop two or three seeds in each hole. This is the Texas, yep, super sweet. Texas super sweet? Yep, that's the name of it, the onion. Because it's sweet and it's Texas? It's yep, Texas. yep. Well, they are they were made in, I think, Texas A&M. Um, they have a good... Um, taste? Yeah, and they're sweet. Yeah. They're like a sweet onion, it's called. Do you want to cover each one of these back up? Yeah. And I, by the way, get all my seeds from True Leaf Market. Most of them come from this Mountain Valley Seed Company. Uh, really good seeds, and I usually have really good germination, so... But always still, even with good germination, I still put two or three seeds in there each time. Can you show? Uh-huh. So we're gonna do the same, two or three seeds in each hole. There we go, put it in that hole. That's okay. 
Well, that's fine. Two. Two or three. It's fine. Put in that hole. Put in the next one. I got one. You got him in the hole? Got that one in oh, that boy. hole. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're planting them, but that's okay. That's the red. Red Creole. Cre Creole? Creole? I don't know how to pronounce that. I do like red onions. But, so put it on. So hold on. Put this over your cheek and then you just tighten this. Lift up. And that holds it on. Now it won't come off. And finally, we're doing more of those bunching onions. So this works out perfectly. It's about 20 days since I planted these radish. They're really fast growing. In fact, these probably I'll be able to harvest, start harvesting in the next four or five days. By the time these come up, half of these radishes are gonna be gone. Now I will say, this one here goes 65 days, but these bunching onions, that's why I put those right there. Those go 65 days. And then the daikon over here do go pretty long, but I mean, onions take forever to come up, so I should be okay. So the bunching onions, if you watched my last video, you're putting like 10 seeds in each hole. So I'm not counting them out. I'm just putting quite a few seeds, big, big pinch. All right, so in a couple days, I'll bring you guys back once these sprout and we'll see how they do. Well, check it out, guys. Every single one of the rows is coming up. We got the bunching warrior, bunching onion. Red Creole on this one coming up. And those ones are a little slower, but they are coming up. We got leeks. Those have mostly come up. And these daikons are actually taking up a lot of space there, but. And then the Texas sweet in the center of these daikons. Those are a little slower, but there's also very little sunlight. Now these are gonna be about another week and a half before I can harvest these at least, maybe two weeks, possibly even up to three. And the same with these. So they're gonna be blocking a lot of the, the sun, but that's okay. Um, also, I can't really fertilize with any high nitrogen, like onions or any of the alliums like, because of the radishes. Radishes don't want high nitrogen. It encourages them to grow green growth and not focus on the roots, and we want them to focus on the roots. Hopefully I sowed these correctly, but we'll see. I want to utilize all of the bed, and I figured I can put these onions in between each rose. Bring you guys back in a couple weeks once all the radishes are gone, and we'll see how this bed looks. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. So I had recently harvested all the turnips and radishes in this bed. Now it's all onion. I'll bring you in and you can see how their growth is. All right, there we go. As you can see, the ones I planted first, they're doing really well. We've got some real good growth on them and they're getting nice and thick. They're not the little spindly things that they once were. I've got them separated out. I'll probably have to thin them out a little more. We've got a couple of them like here that are a little close together, but I'm gonna wait, you know, in case one or two die, then I'm not, you know, thinning them out too much. And the bunching onions here are doing great. So these are the warrior bunching onions and I really like these. They all came up really well. They're doing great and they're growing really, really well. But same time frame, I had planted these bunching onions and they did not do well. Could be due to the fact of the daikon radish being planted here and here, covering this and not giving it a lot of light. But I mean, they didn't even sprout well before those daikons were any kind of size. I didn't even think about it, but these daikon radishes just covered this entire area. There just wasn't enough light coming in. So the Texas sweet, which is this one, this is the Texas sweet as well. This one's doing great. Uh, those are still pretty spindly and they're not much younger. I mean, they just didn't get enough light. They popped up fine, um, but now most of these are doing pretty well, especially these two, because they didn't really have a whole lot of blockage. The light would get in. Um, this is leeks, and this is the red creole, creoli. I don't know how to pronounce that. And then this is the warrior bunching onions. And you can see, I mean, they're, they're all popping up, even though there was a lot of coverage of light. So today is actually the 23rd. It is two days before Christmas, and this video will come out on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you guys are having happy holidays. And that way you guys can see how long it took for these to sprout up and grow to where they're at. Like I said, I think their growth is hindered a little bit. I think we'll see some major growth here in the next little bit once that sunlight is hitting it and they're, they're able to grow. So in the next couple weeks, I'll bring you guys back on some videos 
so you guys can see the progression on how these are growing and of course you'll see how they are when I harvest them and we can determine in my area in Texas South Texas which doesn't get a lot of light with onions you got those long and short day onions and so we are extremely short since we're very far south uh, extremely short day so I mean we do have the Texas sweet which is these ones and they are the tallest they're growing the best so that, I mean that's what they're made for to grow here so we'll see how the rest of these do in this latitude well thanks for watching everyone if you guys like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you guys could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out and i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind